Today we're taking a look at a 200 meter Swiss made automatic dive watch that is from a brand that people really don't talk about on YouTube at all. It is called Jack Turner. I've actually featured a few of their watches and I think they make some really cool watches at a very good price. Like I said, this is a 200 meter dive watch, automatic Swiss made, and it comes in at a very good price considering. Let's flip the camera and take a look at Jack Turner and the Tsunami. So this is the third Jack Turner that I have featured on my channel. This is their dive watch, their attempt to go a little bit more upmarket. It's a Swiss automatic dive watch that has some pretty cool features to it as well. The packaging is nicer than previous Jack Turners that I featured on the channel as well. The first thing you're gonna notice about this watch, in my opinion, is the bezel and the dial. So in person, the dial is textured. On screen, I'm not sure you're really gonna pick it up very, very much from far away. So I'll do close up so you can see what I'm talking about. You have a wave pattern that's engraved in the dial, so it's a textured dial and it looks really good. But the bezel is probably my favorite part of this watch. It's PVD coated and it's a solid piece of stainless steel. So you get a very good bezel action, although it looks different in style to other bezels that you've seen on other watches. So I do like the styling of the bezel. It sort of looks like a bottle cap. Again, I'll do close-ups of it. It's glossy and you get loom. So it's actually pretty legible uh, and it's legible at night. This video is brought to you by whatnot.com. Whatnot.com are a community marketplace for collectors like me and you. Whatnot uses a live stream format where you can actually buy and sell watches during a live stream. They have auction functionality, buy now functionality, and giveaway functionality. In fact, that's where I'll be doing most of my giveaways going forward to help avoid scammers. Not only that, I'll be selling all of my watches going forward on Whatnot because I really love the format. I love the community aspect of it. I get to talk to the people who want to buy my watches and they get to talk to me about the watches themselves. There's no better way of buying and selling watches. So come and join me on Whatnot. Download the app using the link in the description down below and get $10 towards your first purchase. I'll see you in my next live stream. You have applied indices, those are filled with loom. I believe everything is filled with Superluminova C1. You have sort of a dagger hand for the minute and the arrow hand for the, or broad arrow hand for the hour hand. And then you have a lollipop second hand with a little bit of a counterbalance that is in red. That is also loom. So everything is loomed. I'm not sure how the indices are actually loom. We'll do a loom shot at the end and check it all out. On the dial, you have the applied logo. It says Jack Turner right below the 12 o'clock index, right above the six o'clock index. There's Tsunami, that's the name of this watch. And that actually is applied as well, I think. It's in a uh, silver tone and it's a little bit raised. It might be printed, but it's also silver. You have the date at the three o'clock. You have a little bit of a surround and then it is uh, replacing the three o'clock index, but not completely. So there's a little bit of the index at the three o'clock. Of course, I would always like to see a no date. In my opinion, no date way better, but that's you know what they went with and they chose to use the date. Now the uh, case itself, very simple, very straightforward case on this watch. Sort of reminds me of what you get from a Rolex, sort of a, an homage to a Rolex. However, with that bezel, it doesn't look like an homage to a Rolex. You have sort of slab sides on this side of the watch and then you have crown guards uh, around the, the uh, crown. You have a sign crown. And then of course you get to see the movement. The movement is signed Jack Turner. It's a Salita SW200. This is a limited edition of 100 watches. Um, so if you are interested, I think there's only a few left on their website. 200 meters of water resistance. You have a screwed in crown, screwed in case back. And uh, I really like the execution on this watch. Now, the bracelet, I believe you have push pins. However, what I like about the bracelet is the style of bracelet. It's a Jubilee style bracelet. I love that. You have, I believe, solid end links on here. And then of course, solid links throughout. The only thing I think that lets it down a little bit is the buckle. It's just a generic, buckle from you know a micro brand. You only have three positions of micro adjust. It's pretty small. So I would like to see an upgraded buckle on this watch. I think it would look a lot better and it obviously is functional. These buckles are functional, 
but it would be nice to have a little bit more micro adjust and maybe some adjustability on the fly. Let's listen to the bezel action on this watch. Then we'll talk about price. So bezel action, very good, very grippy bezel action as well. So this gets a 120 click bezel and it sounds really good and it feels really good because of that solid piece of metal that the bezel is actually made of. It's a little bit crunchy, but other than that, I wouldn't have any complaints about the bezel and it's very solid and it does not move and it's very, very grippy because obviously it is all engraved with those little sort of notches and they're very big notches so it makes it very, very grippy for someone like me who has very dry hands with a glossy bezel. It's usually hard for me to grip. This was actually pretty easy for me to grip. Polished sides, like I was showing you before, and you do have brushed case top. So the top of the case is brushed, back of the case is also brushed, and the case back itself is brushed. Other than that, of course, you have a Jubilee style bracelet with solid links. The middle links are polished uh, with, you know, in keeping with that style of bracelet. Uh, price on this is $692 currently on their website, and they're offering this on sale. Usually, I think the price is around $900, uh, and I think they're offering 25% off currently on their website. So if you are interested, definitely check out their website. I will put a link to their website down below in the description. Um, $692 for a Swiss-made 200-meter dive watch I think is pretty good. Really quickly, let's do measurements because I did not do that yet. This is a 41.9 millimeter watch. You have 200 meters of water resistance and a display case back with a sapphire crystal on the front and back, and it's 12.5 millimeters thick. That really isn't bad. You have female end links on here, which is great. And of course, you have a lug to lug of 50.6, which is large, but you don't have an effective lug to lug. It's actually smaller than the actual lug to lug. So it will wear true to that 50 millimeter lug span. And then of course the crown, crown's decently sized at 6.7 millimeters for a 41 millimeter watch. Not terrible, actually pretty good. Um, I really like it. I like the taper on the bracelet. There's a slight taper to the bracelet as you can see. I think a Jubilee bracelet or Jubilee style bracelet needs that. And I think they did a good job. Anyway, very quickly, let me throw it on my wrist. I have a seven and a half inch wrist, it's a 41, almost 42 millimeter watch. I'll show it to you on my wrist. Then we will do a quick loom shot because like I said, there is loom in the bezel, indices and hands. So loom should be decent. Let's check it out. And you also get AR coating on the flat sapphire crystal in the front. Just wanted to mention that as well. So very quickly, today I have a very weird watch. This is Atwok Atore Light, and this is uh, sort of the light version of the Drift that they came out with last year, which was a wandering hour. Uh, I think they came out with these at the exact same time. This is just a uh, less expensive version uh, of that watch. It has a less expensive movement. However, I think it looks just as good as the wandering hour. Pretty cool watch. Review for that dropping pretty soon. So here is the Jack Turner tsunami on my seven and a half inch wrist it is a large watch because of its lug span so it does wear larger than you know say a regular 42 millimeter watch with a lug span that is you know 49 millimeters or 48 millimeters it does wear a little bit bigger because of that so it wears maybe like a 42 and a half or 43 millimeter watch so something to keep in mind if you like a large diver this is on the medium to large size is what I would call it. And honestly, a lot of little details on here that make it pretty special. I really love the bracelet. I love the dial, the bezel. I think the case is very straightforward, uh, nothing too out of the box. And of course the handset and all of the rest, kind of, you know, standard, but uh, I think they did a good job. It's also Swiss made and automatic, and you can see the automatic from the Sapphire Crystal in the back. So. Like I said, $692, I think is the price on here. Really not that bad. Let's check out the loom though and see how that works. Well, there you go. Not bad. I'm really pretty impressed with this watch overall. I think the loom is really good on the bezel, on the indices, on the hands. The hands are a little bit lighter than everything else, but you do get loom on that lollipop. So you can see that the watch is actually working in the dark. You have a pip at the 12 o'clock on the bezel, so it gives you a little bit of orientation in the dark as well. Pretty good. Everything here I think is really solid 
for the price, $692, you're getting a Swiss made dive watch with some pretty cool little details. Anyway, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. What do you think of Jack Turner? Obviously, they're trying to go a little bit up market. This is a limited edition of only 100 watches, so they're not making a ton of these. They're trying to dip their toe into the waters of higher end watchmaking. Um, obviously, it's not high end, it's under $1,000. So, you know, that market for $1,000 dive watch or sub $1,000 dive watch is very, very competitive. You can see the loom is already fading a little bit, so something to note. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys, please. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.